Helene devastated western North Carolina, leaving destruction in its wake in large areas of the state unrecognizable. The floods have caused one of the deadliest natural disasters in the United States. So how did this happen to a town 300 miles inland? Could places in central and north Alabama be next? I talked with local meteorologist James Spann to find out more. There were two issues involved with Helene. First off, this was a very fast-moving system. The forward motion was extremely high for a tropical system, so it didn't have time to spin down. And the other thing that happened was the fact that it started to interact with the mountains, the southern Appalachians. Mount Mitchell is about 6,600 feet, and what happens, winds go up the slope of the mountains, and that enhances the condensation and the rain rates. Days before the storm even hit the area, heavy rain had already saturated the ground. And then when Helene hit, its massive size, almost twice as wide as the state of Alabama, led to prolonged heavy rainfall, resulting in record flooding. More than six months worth of rain fell in a short amount of time, and the steep mountains funneled excess water down its high elevation into Asheville and other cities located in the foothills, making them a catch basin for rain. Floodwaters leveled parts of western North Carolina. A warming climate allows the atmosphere to hold more moisture, leading to more intense rainfall events. So could something like this happen in north and central Alabama? Here's what James Spann has to say. I don't think the same thing would happen here, mainly because our mountains are not as high as their mountains. The highest elevation in this state is Chiha State Park. That's 2,407 feet. So it's a whole different set of circumstances. But having said that, if you look back at the history of landfalling hurricanes that came up near the Alabama Gulf Coast in Mobile Bay, in Birmingham we had major flooding problems, in fact some of the hurricanes have dropped a foot of rain here, and we've had tornado problems, the spiral bands will spin off tornadoes. We can have issues here, but it's typically not the same type of issues they had. In the spring of 2022, nearly four inches of rain fell in a short period of time in Birmingham, and it overwhelmed the city's aging drainage system. The rainfall caused flash flooding and led to the death of a man and multiple water rescues. For comparison, 30 inches of rain fell in the North Carolina mountains during Helene. Many cities continue to design their infrastructure based on outdated rainfall data that doesn't reflect current or future climate changes, with some states relying on rainfall reports that are 50 years old. The federal precipitation reports, which use historical rainfall data to guide cities in planning for storms, are infrequently updated by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And because city infrastructure is built using old rainfall data, bridges, roads, Roads and drainage systems are not equipped to handle the increased rainfall. Updating city infrastructure using current rainfall data and future projections of rainfall is crucial for long-term infrastructure resilience.